Welcome everyone. We finally made it. Progress update number 30. How's everyone doing? Good, good. I'm going to keep this blah blah bit to a minimum. I'm just pointing at this because the first thing I want to do if my hand, and I am doing everything one-handed, stop shaking. I'll come on to that in a second. Big thanks to Jenny and Zoe for showcasing my video on their channel it was uh i did it purely for the re reaction thing it was nice to see reactions hence i'm pointing at this obviously i got a few laughs out of them and uh the eps graffiti is on the m25 along with give peas a chance i don't know what it's about but it is a o gauge layout and thanks for showcasing it it's brilliant as I said, lots to get through on this video. You can see the research class 24 there, hooked up to the other one. There's the 4TC just behind it. And we'll come on to that later on in the video. You've got the uh, Lightning Gonzalez running around. We've got lots of um, done in the bubblegum shrimp area and just generally a bit of blah, blah. And that's the EP sign that I was talking about. Also want to thank Sam. I put him on a spot a little bit, obviously being rushed into hospital and having the emergency of surgery. And he stepped in. He did do it all honest and above board. And there was no funny business. The three names that was picked out of his hat was the three names that was called out. So uh, well done to Clint and Lee and to Alan, I hope you enjoy the kits that was kindly supplied by Martin from WWS. I appreciate that Martin as well. And um, yeah, well done guys. I hope you enjoy your items. The other thing is I have blocked from my Facebook account. So if someone would kindly share the video on the Facebook pages, you know, um, on the various pages you're on, if you could share it, I'd be much appreciated. If you're trying to message me on Facebook, don't bother. As I said, I'm locked out. I need to do a new account. But um, I just wanted to do the update first before I start doing all that kind of stuff because I'm really not good with tech. And I've got a bit of a plan. If I do hit a thousand subscribers, which I'm not too far away from, there's going to be some mega prizes to give away so you know what to do hit that subscribe button and uh, it'll help me to get on with the competition also Alan Reynolds Buckland Junction Alan in the loft you can look him up it's easy enough to find doing a tour of the UK got some great videos out and really well worth what really well worth the watch so uh yeah go and check him out um got some brilliant stuff of um yeah basically the uk bridges tunnels uh viaducts heritage sites uh general scenery stuff and really great tour loving the videos al hope you're well and i hope to get to see you soon also i so wish Jason's got the same, oh, I've got the same controller as Jason, Jason's got the same controller as me. Doesn't really matter who got it first, but we got the same controller. I knew what I was doing wrong now with a function button. So, lots of the lights to see on the trains. They're, they are all working. So, uh, you could have said something, Jason. <laughs> but, I finally, the penny dropped and I figured it out. So, brilliant. So, while I'm just pointing at this area, uh, Eastport. Just a quick thanks to the nurses that have looked after me over the last few weeks. And they know who they are. It's um, top nurse, my favourite nurse, Jenna, and Claire, and Vicky, and Nikki, and Leanne. And, you know, I've known these people for a long time. The reason I got a little bit narked was there was, and I should have said this at the time, was a couple of auxiliary nurses. <coughs> Excuse me for like three days, just literally did nothing. And the staff nurse was like, obviously, 
you know, a lot of patients to look after and injections to do. And these two nurses were just busy playing their music. I had two washes in the two weeks that I was in. Well, I actually had three. One that my missus did. I did feel it a little bit, obviously, because of the, the COVID rules. And, you know, missus only allowed, you know, an hour an appointment with her husband. And one time she basically put chucked me in the shower. You know, my missus does pretty much most of my sort of hygiene stuff. You know, she didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for this. It just happened. And, uh, you know, there's been times where I've had both hands in bandages. And, you know, she didn't go up to the altar and go, you know, do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? Uh, included in that is wiping his backside when he has two things amputated on both hands, you know. But she's always just cracked on and done it. She's been my rock. She's my idol. And, uh, yeah, my missus is solid. Um, wouldn't wouldn't be without her. But thanks to the nurses on Kingfisher SAU. If you could pass this little bit on to pals. Pals, SAU unit is probably where everybody comes in and gets assessed because that's what it is, an assessment unit. And, you know, they're just desperate for pillars. They're desperate for drip stands. And um, they kind of really need sorting, to be honest. Uh, there was a few things that knocked me and stuff, but it was all, all, you know, government, trustee, kind of related, penny pinching people that are just, just trying to grind the NHS down. You know, the nurses they do just as a whole a wonderful job. And these two nurses, they kind of got to me a little bit mentally because, like I said, there was a few things that happened. And they just happened to be on ship doing nothing. And, you know, it was a disgrace, really. And I shouldn't have directed it to all nurses, so I apologise for that. But it was just two auxiliary nurses. But, every, you know, everybody else was absolutely brilliant. And, uh, yeah, good stuff. So thank you for that, ladies. Last couple of things I want to talk about is, I know I've said this in the past, uh, there is kind of a reason, I don't want to get into it too much because I don't really want to have a war with some other YouTubers that seem to be ignoring me at the moment. And uh, and that's fine. They, they, I'm, I know they're well aware of me and my situation and my channel and stuff. But intent on ignoring me, but hey-ho. You know, good luck to you and all that. I just want to say though, it took me... 18 months to pluck up the courage to actually post, start posting on YouTube, something I've always wanted to do. Obviously, I, I've become in this mute, mute, mutilated, that's a big word, isn't it? Mute, mute, mutilated um, situation. And it is what it is. Body's pretty, you know, physically um, in a bad situation. And yeah. It, what I was worried about, I wasn't scared or anything like that to, to post like my situation, but I didn't want people taking pity on me because that's one of my pet hates. I hate that, oh, you poor thing, oh. And, you know, I'm not into that sort of stuff. And, you know, and being ignored. And, you know, thankfully, most people that have subscribed to my channel, they do the old banter and I love that. I love you guys doing the banter with me. You know, treat me as normal. Um, there's nothing wrong with my brain. I can give you a quick example of that. When I first had my left leg cut off, I went into town. I've been in hospital for five weeks having mashed potato for two times a day. And we kind of got let out. It was uh, about four days before Christmas, some years back. And um, Mrs. took me into town in my brand new manual wheelchair, left leg cut off. I had a hat on, my hood up. It was bloody snow everywhere. It was, you know, it was a real bad year for the snow. And uh, we went out our breakfast and as we was coming out, we saw some friends from work, a group of four or five of them. And they sort of, you know, couldn't really avoid us because they was right in front of us coming the opposite way. And 
just totally blanked me and just talked to my missus and went, is he all right, is he? I mean, needless to say, I went off my head because not only did they ignore me, he talked above my head and asked my missus if I was all right. I, and I you know, obviously turned around and said, I've had my leg cut off, not my brain removed. And that was really polite version of what I said and uh, obviously the, the conversation didn't go on too long but yeah don't like being ignored and I don't like the whole pity thing so I, that was what I was worried about there's plenty of people that have subscribed that are disabled on this you know I'm you know subscribe to me that are disabled there's plenty of people that are just disabled that you know like the model trains I did this purely for the challenge to keep my mental health in check and just to see how far I got really. I mean, I love the hobby, always have and always will. So um, yeah, just wanted to say that really. Um, those channels are, are blatantly ignoring me. Yeah, yeah, well done, good job. And the last thing I wanna tell you about is my situation, which is gone from pretty much a nightmare to just, yeah, damn right silly really. I had a meeting with a consultant and this is the last thing I'm going to blow about. It's a watered down version. I had a meeting with a consultant and pretty much what's happened is I've torn the muscle. Um, and when I say torn, it's actually come, the tendons come away from the bone. This infection basically I've got is a uncommon infection. So how lucky am I to get an uncommon infection? And basically it targets the ligaments. So you're yeah, like uh, tendons, your muscles, and your cartilage. So it's wrecked my cartilage in my shoulder. It's pushed the tendons away from the bone, which can be repaired, but I've got to wait a year um, to be a year infection free before they can drill basically four bolts into my bone and put a strap over the tendon and obviously put it all back together and renew the cartilage. And it's gonna be a nice big cut on my shoulder. But at the moment, from my shoulder blade to my elbow is zero movement, or say maybe like 5%, maybe max. But um, yeah, it's kind of not really movement. I have to use my right hand to move my left hand because I can still use my actual left hand. So anything from my elbow to my hand is 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 kind of okay. I've probably got about 70, 80% movement. But from my shoulder to my elbow, zero movement. So pretty much everything you see in this video is done with my kneecaps or my mouth or my right hand. And so, yeah, it just got really interesting. <laughs> so that's the story. And as I said, I've got to wait a year to get it reconstructed. So I'll be counting down the days now. So that's pretty much, I think I've covered everything. So what we'll do now is we'll crack on with the, with the update. Uh, I think I've blabbed on long enough now, but I just really wanted to get the, some things off my chest and, and that's probably about the shortest way of doing it. It's coming up to 14 minutes long. So let's get on with the update, shall we? Thanks for listening so far. So I'm not sure this is my finest idea because basically what I've done I'll just quickly show you sorry for the mess pinched uh, my daughter's old stall and obviously shimmied off the wheelchair and come across to the corner here so we've got we're in the 80s and we've got all the T's in charge we got Mrs Thatcher in charge of the UK this is not about politics it's just just the year and who was in charge so Mrs Thatcher was in charge don't care if you like or all over. Like I say, nothing to do with politics. We had Mr. T, obviously the A-team. <laughs> Amazing. The amount of shots fired and the amount of explosions and no one ever died. So there's a couple of 80s memories for you guys. So Prime Minister Mrs. T has put some money aside to get these ports cleaned up. And Eastport County Council have employed a, a team of divers and they're checking it out to see what they can do to remove the old wrecked hull. God, um, pipes come from that little generator there. 
and uh, a couple of little bits, but pretty much set the scene. Obviously a diver there just being checked over, ready for his uh, next trip underwater. And I'm sure they'll get the port all nice and cleaned, ready for the extra freight that's coming to the UK. We've also got a couple of bodies on the ship now. There's a guy there trying to shoot a, the seagull away. And obviously they're restocking the stores. We will, um, if you can just bear with me one second. I will put a link in the description, but this is my new second hand now. Save me holding the camera. It was a, a five bar, I will put a link in the description. The, the old legs bend, it's uh, you know, the top swivels and and rocks backwards and forwards. So yeah, it's pretty handy actually. So yeah, five quid, pretty cool. So uh, if you're interested in getting one, make your filming easier anyway, even if you're able-bodied. Got a few more figures there to do. So my next task is to get the track cleaned up. It does work. I've just cleaned a little bit. I'll just show you now possible not sure how I'm gonna do this actually just bear with me a second so hopefully you'll <clears throat> excuse me so hopefully you'll get this in shot I've just cleaned up a tiny little bit oops so I've just cleaned that little section so far and uh, come back here. So yeah, we'll get all this running tomorrow. But it doesn't look like Speedy Gonzales is going to be Speedy Gonzales anymore because uh, I think it was a controller issue because this is uh, actually running just, obviously I just wanted to test it on a little piece of track. So what I'll do is I'm going to clean the rest of this, give it a good hoover and tidy it all up tomorrow. I'm starting to get a bit tired now. So I'll do it all tomorrow and um, yeah, and hopefully we'll we'll give it some circuits. So that's pretty cool. So I'm really excited about that. We'll get those other people in tomorrow as well. So just slowly, slowly, just, just doing some bits and pieces. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Ta-da! It's still a little bit jerky, but my goodness, this was uh, this was hard work. I'm not using that plaster again, no way. Obviously, I've got a little bit of touch-up painting to do. Where are you? But yeah, I've got, I've got some touch-up painting to do, and um, yeah, just generally just sorting this area out. I haven't run it in so I'm just gonna I'm gonna let it do some circuits and then I'm gonna do a little bit more uh, maybe, maybe tomorrow I might, I might touch up the paint or I might just um, just leave it for another update we'll see how it goes as uh, obviously you can see all the white bits there there's a fair amount to do so I might leave it for another day actually, I'm not not overly fussed about it to be honest. I'm just there run round and uh, just a tiny bit more cleaning up to do. But very happy about that, so I can start putting this guy kind of back together again. But um, still blends in nicely, it's just obviously where the plaster's gone on the rails and it was just a nightmare to to clean off being so tiny and and all that so there you go lightning gonzalez on the road or on the rails should we say so hope you like it we'll let it run in and then we'll put a carriage and maybe then both carriages on so i'll see you shortly oh look at that <laughs> i just just uh, 009 gauge or 09. <laughs> yeah, just so much fun. Ah, uh, dear. Doesn't matter what happens on the planet. Let's get.
guaranteed to put a smile on your face. So, uh, yeah, still lots of clean to do, very jittery, but it's a very cool. Very good, very good. <laughs> Love it. Ah, oh, dear. I know, small things, small mind and all the rest of it. <laughs> it's all good fun. So, got some, I've not put them in permanent, but I've put some little bigger trees there. And there's a tree there just covering the seam. It's not fully in place, just because obviously, like I said, I've lost 70% of my movement in my left arm. So, a bit difficult stretching over. So we've got some, got white link seafoods guy there just doing a trailer change taking some lovely bubba gump shrimp all the way up to scotland you've seen the the bubba gump shrimp truck it's even got east port written on it so he's just going onto the loading bay there these trucks are proving let me find a word difficult doesn't describe it annoying i so wish i hadn't used this plaster now um I probably should have used no nails or something, I don't know, but gosh, it just, the the train, it just, yeah. It's gonna take a bit of cleaning to do, but I'll, I'll get there, so I'll give it another go tomorrow. I'm starting to get a little bit tired now. And then uh, hopefully if we, can, if we can get this track cleaned. On the straights it's fine, but then it slows down on the curves. So uh, we'll give it another bash tomorrow. And hopefully we can get these last pieces put in just here and stuff. So, uh, but all together, yeah, looking all right, really pleased, happy days. Obviously I put the, not, not seal skins, gosh, we're not in Canada, oil skins. So people with oil skins dotted around as well. Got this little high ab crane put onto the, onto the ship. And there's, where is it? Ah, just here. Now this thing is some kind of, just bear with me, some kind of like earth cutting thing. I do need to repaint it, but who in the hell, or what company does that? Let me just show you. I don't know if you can, will it focus? No, it won't. Ah, oh, there you go. You see the nuts on the bottom there? Who the hell has a triangle-shaped screwdriver? I mean, come on, people. Either use a Phillips or a flathead. Not a triangle shape. So I'm having a bit of difficulty actually trying to get these off at the minute. But I just thought that would go just nicely there with some crates around it. And it just then looks like it's, um, you know, filling up the, the ice boxes. You know, I've been offloaded from the trawler, so it's pretty cool. But let's give this a bash tomorrow. I'm going to leave it there for today. Like I said, it's uh, I'm starting to get a little bit tired now. And uh, yeah, we'll see tomorrow. But what I wanted to show you, I took the body off ready. I'm just waiting for a uh, eight pin to come. It's got a couple of drivers there at the front. Uh, so we get a chip in to this. Hopefully the postman will be nice and bring it tomorrow and we can get this up and running and we'll give it a blast round pretty excited but ta-da that's what i'm really excited about gosh i've waited so long to get this and i just thought you know what you only live once so why not um scraped all my pennies together and i actually got it so those two together Looks a pretty good colour match as well. Can't wait to get them running. So tomorrow, chips in both. And yeah, we'll give it a good good old blast round. So looking forward to that. So stay tuned to see this running. So really is nice set. 
little bit on the expensive side, but like I said, hey ho, you only live once, and uh, why not? It's a good, it's a good cheering up thing, I think. Well deserved after the last few weeks. So Eastport is always evolving, always adding stuff. So a couple of little thanks to go out to. The first one's to, I hope I say the name right, Ronald Mor Morritt. Uh, cheers, Ron. I uh, really appreciate, obviously, the, you got a truck and a crane and some vans. There is some uh, other bits and pieces. Uh, one, obviously, the, the high ab crane that I wanted, that I showed you in one of my videos for the trawler. It's exactly the one that I wanted. I've uh, painted it up and we'll pop that on the tra trawler. And as I said, East Port's going from, as you can see, the old signal box. And it's and there's the new signal box. So it's going through this kind of transformation look of being revamped, you know, for the increased shipping that's coming into the UK. So Stobart have been given the contract to to renew all the tracks. And obviously they've just brought in the heavy machinery. So it looks kind of fit in there, just parked up, ready to be given the go-ahead by Eastport County Council. This is a kind of good as well because it's got Stobart ports on the side, so it fits in just nicely with the obviously port theme. I'm really glad I did the port theme. It's just uh, yeah, a bit different from a, a bus on the bridge layout, which, which, which we've all seen many many times. But kind of makes me laugh when I see a, a bus on a bridge on a layout now, because I'm just like bus on a bridge. But yeah, so yeah, it's all. I think now it's, it's just at the point where I think, you know, this area is, is good. I so said, I do want to get put a kebab house or something down there by the white bus. But I think overall, you know, maybe some more people on the platform and stuff. But, you know, the, the signals for the station, the trunking, the AWS, all that kind of, you know, dummy points. And, you know, that's all going to come in time. The, the finer detail but I think the fundamentals you know the actual I think there's enough vehicles sort of in this area now and buildings and whatnot it's just all all that smaller detail that I need to do so yeah thanks Rom and also thanks to Mick who also sent me a, a box of trucks I won't be using them just yet Mick because obviously this layout will turn into a tail chaser and I will use those trucks for the distribution park because there's the two things that are missing on Eastport is a distribution park and I kind of like want it to be like on a viaduct type thing and then obviously the distribution distribution park sort of below below the track so you can see the trains then running above and and then all the industrial units kind of just like on the normal railways all be, all below and um and a pier is another thing that's kind of missing uh, i'm thinking about doing the pier over the winter period as a separate unit i probably won't actually put it anywhere in particular but i will build it kind of like in the colder months because i know one it's going to take a long time and uh two i shouldn't be too far off moving into a bigger room by then so we shall start that at winter time, so I'm looking forward to actually doing that. This will be a really good layout once it's into a, a tail chaser because I can just let the trains run and I won't have to worry about it. So talking of trains running, I'm going to go over now. I know this is going to be a long video and I, I don't apologise for that. Obviously, I haven't done one for a while anyway. The bashing on now, obviously still a fair amount to show you. We are, uh, uh, we, sorry, Kev from Medway Peninsula he sent me some odd bits and pieces. Some obviously he used and what he le had left over he sent to me. So we got a grit and a salt box there put in. And uh, we got a 
cab cost me three quid or which I won on an auction so it's, it's just kind of trying to look for those deals but I I am a complete buffoon I seriously I want shooting <laughs> oh, I don't know what's wrong with me I'll tell you for why now just bear with me one second You see that? <laughs> and you'll see there's lights inside. I will, when we when we run this at the end, I will turn the main lights off so you'll get a better view of it. You know why my controller wasn't working? It's because function zero. <laughs> Nothing works until I press function zero, basically. And uh, there is lights on the on the. Uh, what do you call those things on the front of a train? Locos, that's the one. Gosh, these are these painkillers are starting to get to me a little bit. But yeah, I found out the reason why the, why the lights weren't working. So uh, there you go, happy days. So we got internal lights and we got external lights, and gosh, it's like Blackpool Illuminations. So very pleased about that, and um, yeah, we'll get it running very shortly. But let's go over, I am determined to get Bubba Gump Shrimp area, at least the scenics done. So we're going to finish that off over the next couple of days. We'll get this running and then I can get it uploaded. So uh, stick with it guys, stick with it. So the other mistake I made, I brought an engine shed, hoping it would fit in there. And guess what, it don't. It's like literally, um, yeah, it's, it's a bit too close to the track, so I need to get something a little bit not as wide. Gosh, I feel like a winky right now. <laughs> you can see some some lights on that unit, so I just kind of trying them all out now. And uh, yeah, gosh, it's simple. Just I thought, oh, you know what? I'm just going to try function zero, <laughs> and they all started working. So there you go. You learn something new every day. Let's let's move on, eh? So we've, uh, as you can see, repainted this uh, kind of conveyor belt thing, and yeah, sets in nicely. Again, on the key side, it's looking really busy here now, which is the look I wanted. Got a little um, gangplank, that's the word I was looking for, which uh, I haven't fully attached yet. And uh, we'll, we'll do that later in time. But I've started to uh, to do the tracks that are a bit more tied in now. So I've just got to kind of hoover it all up, sort of up to this area here. So we're going to do this area. And I'm dying to get that train running, so we'll do that very soon as well. So let me just do this area. I'll see you in a few weeks. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I would give you the long shot. Just to show you what it looks like overall. Oh, nine there, both carriages. Divers, trawler, obviously the trucks, conveyor belt. I know it's a little bit messy still, but I can kind of focus now on this area. And it will be done before. I'm not going to upload this video until that area is done. But yeah, overall, looking really groovy. Very happy. So we'll do some more tomorrow. Jason from Barnabas is so going to laugh because he knows I hate tech. Obviously, uh, you can see the 150 now. It's got lights. They do change red in, obviously, in the direction. So they're working now. I brought the crab class down and I've sorted that out now. And that runs even at slow speed, really nice. And we'll give that a little blast round as well. You can see the class 416 got lights inside 
these ones do work. There seems to be a connection between train and track on, on that one, but definitely on this one. I think it's because I've got a, um, I've actually put a cheap chip in this one, which is never, never a good idea to be honest. Best spending a few quid for a bit of quality. But this one has got, I think, a lens in it or something like that. I don't, can't remember now. But all the lights work on that. Got the lights working on the Glass 47. Lights working on the 4TC. Lights working on the 4TC. Lights working on the 4TC. Lights working on the class 24. So I, I'm, I'm proper made up because uh, I've just, I'm not going to do it now because it's obviously I'm, I'm doing all this one handed. So it's kind of a bit dangerous, but we will give all this, we'll give all these trains a run shortly. And uh, we'll show them running around and, and I, I'm so glad, I, <clears throat> excuse me. So glad I got there. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I'm so glad I got the the the, the lights sorted. Gosh, just all I had to do was press zero. <laughs> so uh, you could have told me that, Jason. <laughs> ah dear, so funny. But yeah, so it's it's just an extra detail added to obviously the layout. But um, yeah, they look really groovy, kind of. Really pleased, but I'll show you very shortly. I am gonna now finish this area off. I promise you, I will. One handed, no handed, using my blinking nostrils. I'm gonna get it finished. So I'll see you shortly, guys. Well, that was some pers perseverance, but I, I said I wouldn't go any further until I've done it. And when I say I've done it, just obviously the fund fundamentals. Got a cameo scene coming along uh, this part of the quayside. Gonna change a ferry here. I really wasn't happy with that Billings boats. And I don't like to run. Normally, if I don't like something from a certain company, I usually just don't say anything and I just keep stum. But if you are thinking about Billings boats, I'd think not even twice, I'd think three or four times because in my opinion, they're just not worth the money. It was cheap, don't get me wrong, but even at a cheap price, it was just, it was rubbish. Sorry, Billings boats, but I, I, I wouldn't have even paid a fiver for that. It was pretty bad kit to be fair. So, uh, but I got my Dean's Marine one. I'm thinking about getting that Kibri, um small kind of trawler just for here. Like I said, I've got a little cameo scene to come sort of here. A couple more people maybe around here. And, uh, you know, a couple of forklifts and stuff. I've got still a little bit of tidying up to do, but the fundamentals are done. Just give you a quick Scoobies around. I decided not to fill in the track. I just put some gravel in, rubbed it up and stuff. Did some statics. And let's see, my trucks and my little conveyor belt. I've got some boxes too. I've just got to paint them. So I've got some boxes to go there near the conveyor belt. Apologies for that. But, um,. I'm one-handed, so I've just dropped my camera. So I uh, had a letter from there, just while I'm just showing you everything, the overview. I had a letter from the, the consultant, and pretty much actively, I've got 5% movement in my left arm. 5%. Actively means that's me doing it myself, and passively, I've got 35%. That's with someone else holding my arm. So there you have it. So not bad. Completed all this pretty much with one one arm, one hand. 
I can move my left hand quite freely, but like I say, I've got to move my left arm and it only moves a maximum of 35%, which really sucks. But yeah, we'll get an extra trawler here and we've got a few forklifts and people. So that's it. Um, just quickly, before we get onto the trains, because that's the next thing, and that's what we've all been waiting for, is, as I said, if someone could share this among the Facebook groups, I do need to uh, renew my, you know, renew uh, my Facebook, uh, you know, what you, what you call it, Facebook profile or whatever. So, but in the meantime, someone could share it among the groups, I'd really be grateful for that. I really do think this is my best update so far, especially given already in a bad physical situation and now it's even worse. I think I've done a not bad job at all and I'm really pleased, really pleased indeed. But I think it's time to run some trains people, so let's go do it, eh? So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to run through the trains. Uh, Last thing I'm just going to say obviously about my situation now is I'm probably going to do a update a month as opposed to an update a week. Not that I haven't got anything to show you or talk about or whatever, but obviously given the fact that I am only using one arm now, I've got to be like this for 12 months now, infection free. And apparently they're then going to cut my shoulder right open and reconstruct it all, new cartilage. And like I say, tie, tie? Well, yeah, they're going to tie the tendon down by drilling four bolts into my arm. Yeah, new cartilage and then, yeah, get it all tied off. And hopefully I'll have uh, a new shoulder. So, uh, so the next 12 months is going to be interesting, obviously dealing with the pain and everything else. So I think I'll just do an update a month. So uh, let's get on with the train. So as you can see, the class 150, I'm just gonna show you the lights on it. So there, it's handy having the lights on because basically you already know the direction of the train. And uh, which is pretty handy really. So that's that one. The other thing I've managed to do, I'm so glad I got this this small uh, tripod stand. Like I said, it cost me a fiver, but wish I got it ages ago. To be fair, is I took the chip out of this uh, C class and I put it in the 4TC because I only need functions in the 4TC because it's got no motor, and uh, obviously this now, and hopefully. Look at that, just crawling along, singing a song. But yeah, so that's, that's just kind of sorted. We've just got a little stall it. Well, not really a stall, just need to give it some more juice. And the carriage on the back, just thought I'd show you that, Paul. One of the carriages you gave me. Let me just uh, excuse the wobble. Obviously my, my track's quite dirty and dusty, so I'm kind of expecting a few stalls. But yeah, the, this uh, luggage van, Southern Region, is donated by Paul. But it's running super smooth, look, no jerkiness. So I've got that sorted now, brilliant. So what we'll do is we'll run this round as a pair. And we'll show you the lights working on it and stuff. And you can get a long shot, or well, not a long shot, but look at that. So chuffed. If you look at update three or four, and you can just see like I just had this Demo Engineers and just a load of tracks there. Uh, beautiful together actually. Class 24 double header. But this just whole area's just come alive. It's just just wowing me. Obviously only I know how much effort I've put into it. Well I know you guys know as well, but because obviously you you've seen me do stuff, but 
it's, it's been, you know. All right, let's have a look at these lights, eh? I said I'm, I'm hoping not to get any any stalls or anything. See the lights there. So I brought one of a shop home brand in the in the research one. So we're hooked up to the poor TC. Hoping. Let's take a look at it. I think on the next one we'll do a proper proper running session. Hoping that you can see that the lights are on. But yeah, I should do a proper running session. Yeah, you can see them there, look. Just love this 40, it's, it's a brilliant. Excuse the camera work. Like I said, I'm trying to do all this with one arm. Just wow, really wow. catch it when it comes out of the tunnel yeah we'll, we'll do a proper running session I think next time definitely might even turn the you know turn the main lights off so you get the full effect of the, the actual lights on the train I've really enjoyed doing this update. It's been challenging, that's for sure. I love how they're quite close coupled as well. This 4TZ. 4TC really deserves its, a, it's award for, for the best loco. Or best or model of the year, I think it won. Model of the year 2021. I've just run over my box of bits that I was using. Just absolutely fantastic. Oops. So we'll run this one back round. You can see the lights on the front there as well. So I thank you all for, for your understanding, obviously, of my situation. Just came out of the blue. And uh, gonna have to part up with it for a year. But it doesn't mean to say we're gonna stop. Just things will be a little bit slower now, so. All good.
love this area so much. Just, <laughs> just such a transformation. What's better than 14TC? 24TC. Just wow. All the lights working. Woo! <laughs> Come on, you guys. You tell me that you can't say that's not cool. Ah, oh, just so made up with this. Who needs fingers? Who needs feet? Yeah, thanks everyone for your for your support. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. They will be a bit sort of further apart, but it will continue. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've enjoyed making it. And we'll see you definitely sometime in the future. Cheers, guys.